Rohit. Welcome to my channel. This workout is going to be about strengthening the muscles in your legs, including your glutes, abductors, quadriceps and hamstrings, working even the hip flexors and hip extensors. It's really going to get those muscles working, firing and getting really strong and toned. The first thing we're going to do is for your abductors. It's called the side lying leg series. It is one of my favorite workouts. Even while you're traveling on the go, you can always do this one. So lie down sideways. Hand under your head. Core engaged. There should be a little squirrel hole here. You don't want to sink. Keep it engaged, keeping that squirrel hole. Rest down. Staying tall. Try and stay in a straight line. Hand by your side if you can or down beside you. Inhale. Exhale. Simply squeeze your glute and lift your leg up. Exhale up. Inhale down. Stability. Make sure you don't fall forward. So keep that core engaged. Exhale up. Inhale down. The more you squeeze your glute, the less high you'll be able to go. And that is the aim. So it's not about going all the way up. It's about squeezing that glute, keeping it tight and going as far as you can, keeping that tight. So four, exhale, five, six, exhale up, seven, eight, core engaged, don't forget to breathe, exhale up, inhale down, ten, five more, five, four, three, Two, one, stay up and pulse. One, squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, nine, eight, glute squeeze. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it there and we're gonna circle. One, in this, make sure you stay stable. Two, Exhale, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still maintaining that squirrel hole. Ten, reverse. Ten, nine, eight, glute squeeze, seven, bum smiling. Five, four, breathe, exhale, three, inhale, two, and one, and relax. From there, we got to switch sides, so if you've done it on one side, of course, you've got to do it on the other. So turn, lie down the other way, head down, back straight, core nice and tight, hand in front of you for support if you want, inhale, staying long. And exhale, lift up. One. Exhale, two. Shoulder relax. Three. Four. One of my favorite exercises. Five. Really gets those glutes working, the abductors working. Seven. Exhale up. Inhale down. Eight. Nine. Maintaining that squirrel hole. Ten. That's basically your core engaged. Five. Four. Three, two, and hold it. We pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I hope no one's falling. Nine, eight, seven. See if you can take your hand off. Five, four, three, two, and one. From there, we go into the circles. One. Two, three, four, five, six, breathe, seven, shoulders relax, neck long, eight, nine, ten, reverse, ten, your chest shouldn't be popping either, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. 
So these exercises, of course, are Pilates-based exercises that we're doing today. So from here, we're going into the kneeling squats. Basically, as the name suggests, you're going to kneel and squat. So you come up on your knees, legs about hip distance apart, toes flexed. Inhale to stay, you can keep your hands in front of you. If you want to increase the challenge, you can even take weights. So keep your hands in front of you, inhale, exhale, just sit back on your heels, inhale, come up. Now the key is to think about working your quadriceps. So keep your quadriceps engaged and glutes squeezed. So inhale down, exhale, squeeze your glutes to come up. Inhale down, two, exhale up, three, Feel those quads working and firing. Four. Core engaged. Five. Six. My quads are definitely working. <laughs> Seven. Squeeze it. Come on. Eight. Nine. Ten. Last five. Five. Inhale down. Exhale up. Four. Core engaged. Three, two, one, and we're going to hold it there and pulse. One, two, three. So small movements up and down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that worked my quads. Short worked yours too. Another one to challenge the quads. Same position, but this time point your toes. Hands straight. Don't sit back now, we're going to hinge back, it's called the hinge. Staying straight, inhale, exhale, just lean back like you're going to fall, inhale, come up, one, exhale back, inhale up, two, exhale, three, four, exhale down, inhale up, five, Again, the quadriceps are working, the glutes are firing, the core is engaged. Seven. Breathe. Eight. <laughs> Nine. Last one. Stay there and hold it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. So sitting there, tall, legs straight in front of you, back straight, hands behind you, shoulders not rounded, sit tall. Inhale and exhale, lift one leg up, inhale down, one. Alternate, two, three, exhale, four, five, six, shoulders long, seven, so I'm working the hip flexors as well as the quads. Nine. Ten. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Exhale. Eight. Core is connected. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. So yep, we walk the hip flexors and the quadriceps quite well. To increase the challenge, this can even be done kneeling, but we'll start at this level. From here, we're gonna go into the side kick, lying down. So you're gonna point, point, flex. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Have to try and maintain your stability on this one. It is a challenge. Point, point, flex. Three, point, point, flex. Four, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Four more. Point, point, flex. Point, point, and flex. Point, point, flex. Last one. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Same thing on the other side now. We're going to do the point, point, flex. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Ten of them. This is eight. I'm counting backwards, yeah. Seven. Six. Point, point, exhale. Point, point, exhale. Four more. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Three more. Two. And last one. And release. 
we're going to do an exercise for your adductors or your inner thighs. Lie down on your back. You'll need a towel or maybe two or three pillows or a hard pillow to keep them in the middle of your knees, a little lower than the knees. Lie down, stay neutral, keep your core engaged. Inhale, it's simple. All you have to do is squeeze the towel together. Inhale, release. So it's your knees squeezing the towel together. Inhale, ring, release to work and activate your inner thighs. Squeeze, release. Three, four, core engage. Five, six, seven. You have to fire those inner thighs. You have to get them connecting. Nine, ten, five more. Five, squeeze, four. I can definitely feel my inner thighs working. Three, two, core engage, breathing, exhale to press, inhale, release. One. So that's working your inner thigh muscles. This can even be done seated on a chair with the towel in the middle of your knees. So in this video, I showed you a couple of Pilates exercises that can be done to tone your legs, work the inner thighs, abductors, and quadriceps and hip flexors. These exercises will really get your legs nice and strong. These are basic exercises, but they are really, really challenging if done correctly. Remember to follow all your Pilates principles. Those are essential. Do these exercises three to five times a week. You can add them to your other routines or do them as a routine on their own, but do them at least three to five times a week, twice a day to see the real difference. Hope you enjoyed the workout. If you have any questions, queries or any comments, don't forget to leave them below. I will try my best to answer all of them. And as I always say, kiss. Keep it safe, simple and smart.